so it's been a while since I've last been since I last done a collection haul but I didn't get that much um, stuff to show since last time until literally today because I got a um, bundle of DVDs for free off my auntie but there's a catch to them so what I've got here I've got um, six normal DVDs a DVD box set and a Blu-ray box set so we'll get um, cracking so the first Blu-ray box set is the Chucky um, some film collection um, this one I mean it's kind of topical I got it now because there's a new one coming out a remake sort of one so it's not that complete anymore but oh well um, now I already have the first two um, child's play films on DVD but I wanted to get the blu-ray replacements for the first one because oh fuck because annoyingly the first child's play film on the DVD is in non-anamorphic widescreen meaning that it won't display properly on a widescreen TV so you got you've not only got black bars on the top and bottom but you got black bars on the side and also that means the quality is a lot worse than it could otherwise be because of the because the image is technically smaller than usual so I got it on um, Blu-ray and um, this one doesn't feature the holographic cover that the um, American edition has it just is a shiny one but I do like that how the Blu-ray bar isn't blue it's like a reddish sort of orangey colour to go with the title Sorry, back. this is the first time you could get all the Chucky films on together in the UK there were a couple of sets released in the US but there was never one released here due to I definitely know it was rights issues with the first film because the first film's MGM and the rest are universal and interestingly enough in the UK and Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky I don't think were distributed by Universal initially but now Universal have got the UK rights back and so they've put them out on Blu-ray this also marks the Blu-ray debut of Bride of Chucky, um, Seed of Chucky and Cult of Chucky so anyway inside you get a thick Amore case which I'm kind of mixed about this type of case right here but it, anyway, so here's what you basically get inside. You get you get the discs right here, which come out of the case. I've come across a few like DVD sets on like this. Inside, you get the uh, credits and so on. And here you get the films themselves so here's child's play one which is probably my favorite one of the series it's hard to say it's either the first one or the second one although i've only seen the first two so i can't properly comment child's play two which um is probably the one that fails as a horror film but it but but i mean it's good it's a good film child's play two it's got that but it's got that great moment at the end when they're in the factory. That's really the only reason to watch it, honestly. Child's Play 3, which is probably the most controversial one. Because I believe it was linked to I think it was the murder of James Bolger. And a lot of people think it was banned. It wasn't banned. It was I think it, I think the distributors like put it out of print initially. The VHS version until I think it was late to run in the 90s when they finally reissued it and interestingly enough this one unlike the unlike its predecessors and unlike Pride Chucky and Cedar Chucky this one never got a theatrical release in the UK it went straight to video um, for some reason maybe it might have been because it might have been a flop in the US I think it was released theatrical in the US but not in the UK. Um, Bride of Chucky, this was the one when they finally turned self aware and they turned the series into horror comedy. 
And this one, the rating has been knocked down. It was originally a, an 18 in this country, but they've knocked it down to a 15. Cedar Chucky, this is the one I'm going to go into with the lowest expectations. Because I've heard a lot of people say this one's terrible. Because it's, although I've heard it's okay, it's okay as a comedy, but terrible as a horror film. But I won't view it as a horror film. Cursed Chucky, which was the sort of one, the new one. This one was also released straight to video in the UK and the US. Um, same as the next one, which is Cult of Chucky. Yeah, so got that. And then the and then the DVD box set, which I paid for, was um. The Alan Partridge Collection. Ha ha! So, I've seen... I wanted to watch Alan Partridge for quite a while. I've seen the... Prior to getting this, I'd seen the... Um, James Bond episode. Not stop getting Bond wrong! And I'd seen a few clips before, like Smell My Cheese and... Um, the Obsessed Fan. But... But I got this. So, this one... I've not. It's not that complete anymore because Alan because of that new um, Alan Partridge series he did, which I've heard is either meant to be okay or shit, depending on who you ask. So it started out as obviously Alan Partridge started out on radio, but as as I say that it was he was fictional Alan Partridge. He was a fictional like I like mocking of like talk show hosts. And this, it started out as Know Me, Knowing You, which was originally a radio series, and then it turned into a TV series. It was, the TV series was like a um, mock talk show, and it was okay. It wasn't that brilliant. I, I like it, don't get me wrong, but it was better when he did the sitcom later on. And then and there's also on here, Know Me, Knowing You, which was the Christmas special, which the Christmas special, it had its moments. Like when he went to that um, electronics shop, but some bits I didn't like, like the um, transvestite who kept dropping innuendos. It just felt wholly unnecessary and a bit obnoxious. You never hear the discs. Quite plain discs. Interestingly enough, there's a channel in the UK called Gold, which repeats quite a lot of British comedy. And every night, this show know me, know you, but not I'm Alan Partridge. Which I'm Alan Partridge, I thought was better. Anyway, we'll get on to I'm Alan Partridge. And this is the first series. This is quite an early DVD release. Um, this was um, the, sick, the single camera sitcom when he... Um, in the first series, um, Alan was trying to get his talk show back because his talk show wasn't commissioned for a second series. And this was him trying to get it back and failing miserably. Spoilers. And then we move on to series two, which was done years later. It was done in, I think, the early 2000s. Um, now, me knowing you was done in sort of the mid-90s. I'm Alan. The first season of Alan Partridge was done in the late 90s. This was done in the early 2000s. And this was him basically just giving up on the whole talk show idea and just moving on to other things. Like trying to sell his failed novel. His, no, not his failed novel, so his failed biography. Do the discs. Right. And then the next six DVDs, these are the ones I got for free, but here's the catch for them. Um, they used to be, I think, my uncle's, but he gave them to me because he said they were all terrible. And I, I, I took them off his hands just because I was morbidly curious, just to see like how bad they really are. What I'm hoping for is most of these are so bad they're good. You know, you can get some entertainment value out of them, but we will... With them. And most of these I've never even heard of, so in fact, like 99% of them I haven't heard of. So let's continue. So the first one is a film I have heard of, The Football Factory. 
Um, what else are you going to do on a Saturday? So this one apparently, according to the cover, it's got like good reviews from like newspapers I've never heard of. So um, I assume this one was about football hooliganism. I could be wrong, but it probably won't be very good. But you know, I'll 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 be optimistic. Red case, red disc. The next one, the, the rest of my films I've never heard of. Next one is Strength and Honour with Vinnie Diesel and Michael Madsen. Vinnie Diesel, not, not Vinnie Diesel, sorry, Vinnie Jones. Sorry, I kept thinking of Vin Diesel for some reason. Vinnie Joan, Jones, fuck. Vinnie Jones, yes. Vinnie Jones, I think the name rings a bell, but I've not seen him in anything. I assume he's probably like a low budget actor who appeared in quite a lot of like cheap, like made for DVD action films. I assume this one was made for DVD, but I could be wrong. Um, because I've done real to no research into these films, with the exception of the ones I bought with my own money. And Michael Madsen, who I have heard of. Uh, wounds heal, scar, ours fade, glorious forever. So I'm probably gonna. So this is probably just gonna be like some shit action film, honestly. Some action film schlock. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. It's probably. It's probably gonna be so bad it's good. It's probably gonna be entertaining. But still, my expectations are not high. Here's the disc. Next one is another Vinnie Jones one, Blood Out, this one also has in it Luke, Luke Voss, Curtis 50 Cent Jackson and Tamahassin, never heard of any of these actors, yeah, apparently this originally cost £5. Once again this is probably going to just be some direct to video action schlock disc. Next one is oh. Essex Boys. Um, compelling, clever and unpredictable according to heat and sexy tensed. It's essential viewing according to the mirror. This one has in it um, Sean Bean who I've have heard of, Alex Kingston, Char Charlie Queen Miles and Tom Wickinson, never heard of any of those other people except for um, Sean Penn. Sean, Sean, not not Sean Penn. So what the fuck? I I misread it. Sean Bean, Sean Bean. Yeah. Fuck. I I kept looking at. It, I think thinking it was Sean Pegg, but it's not. It's Sean Bean. What the fuck is wrong with me? So, anyway, um, Sean Bean. So if it's got Sean Bean in it, you know he's going to die. <laughs> That's pretty much kind of a given. If Sean Bean's in your film, he's going to die. I haven't even heard of it, and I already know he's going to die. Um, if you know what happened, you'd better keep your mouth shut. This probably looks like some shitty thriller, but it could be good. It could, it could be interesting. Here's the disc. Um, upside down, I can't be honest switching the discs around. Next one is Green Street 2. I don't even have a Green Street 1. <laughs> so, what the hell? So, um, I can imagine, so I can imagine I'm probably not going to get this one. And I assume this one's about football because it mentions football on the back and so on. So it probably won't interest me, but, you know, it could be good. My expectations aren't high. It's probably going to be shit. Here's the disc. That cover's probably like a million times better than a fucking movie, honestly. And then the final DVD. This one, I don't know what the fuck this thing is. Um, Gateway to Stockholm. Where reality beats fiction. This one was released by 
an independent label which I've never heard of. Interestingly enough, the um, BFC reference number is underneath the rating on the cover, which is weird because it's all usually on the disc itself where the reference number is. I have no idea what the hell this is. Um, you've seen Street Racing in America's box office smash shit, the Fast and the Furious. Oh, fuck. Um, you've seen. You've seen the street races in America's box office smash hit Fast and the Furious. Now check out these two up two selling Swedish films on one DVD. Oh, so it's two films. I think I tried this in like the DVD player once before I filmed this and it's got like two like twenty minute I don't know. I don't know what. Just like I don't know, just like footage of idiots driving, basically. I've got no idea what the hell this thing is. <laughs> so, I'll keep it for curiosity sakes, but, you know, I'm probably not going to watch it. I'm probably never going to watch any of these, to be honest with you, but, you know, I don't know. I'll see. I'll probably watch them at some point. Maybe, maybe this is a plan. I might do a live reaction to them, or live commentary rather because I don't because I don't show my face on camera so it'd be more like a live uh, commentary so if you're interested in seeing live commentaries in any of these in on any of the six films I've shown then please um, drop me a, drop me a comment if you're interested and I'll see what I can do so anyway bye